Today we're going to demonstrate how we can create a product in Pimbly using the API. When setting up a new feed in Pimbly, we can specify a REST-based feed and we'll get an API token, which will allow us to talk to Pimbly later on. If we take a quick look at an existing product, we can see the basic attributes such as name and description are populated. And we're going to create a similar sort of product via the API now. We'll need a unique product code that doesn't exist in the system already. It's JSON based, so we're using Postman to test the API call and demonstrate how it works. Here we are specifying a few attributes for the products, such as what schema it appears in and giving some values to some of the basic attributes, including an array of values for the activity attribute. If we make the call and receive a success message, the product has been created. Then we go back into Pimbly and see it's created the product with all the attribute values populated. Creating products with the API means that your other internal systems and software can connect and talk to Pimbly, linking up your processes more efficiently.